Good morning. So they blew up this Russian pipeline, the gas pipeline, just outside of Sweden in the sea. I'll talk about this. I have questions about this. Uh, I also have some exciting news about Russell Brand. Right, first I want to tell you this short story. Me and my girlfriend, we were regular customers at this cheese shop in the town close to where we live. One day we came there. This was about two years ago. There was this big sign and it said that we were not welcome into the store unless we had the tea. And I did a video about this. I was angry about it. I'm learning to relax. Things happen. So now I heard that the owner, I'm very sorry to hear this, the owner of the cheese shop him and his wife, they drink all the tea that they can get. And now, I don't know about the wife, but I heard about the guy, the owner. Uh, he's, in, he's got some serious physical problems. Now, I'm so sorry. You guy, who stopped me from entering your store. Now you have some physical, serious physical problems. I'm sorry about this. Alright, so they blew up this gas pipeline. And now they say, who did it? And some people say, it was the Americans. Now I have some questions about this. Well, they say it was the Americans because, I think so, mainly because Joe Biden sort of said it in this interview. I'll post a link to it. He said, I promise you, we have ways to shut it down, he said some time ago. But I have questions about this. If it was the Americans, well, was it really? Where does the order come from? You think it came, came from Joe Biden? Well, I thought he was just a puppet president. Was the order coming from above Joe Biden, maybe? Maybe those people who benefit on war. Maybe from those people who drool over this idea of war. And maybe it's the Germans now. They want the Germans to get involved in the war. You know, because from what I understand, it's the Germans who will suffer from this blown up pipeline. The gas was going to Germany. They were depending on it. And it already started in Germany. This is what I understand. Starvation. People are cold. Business is shutting down. And of course, this reminds me of the past. See what happened in Germany. People were suffering and then all of a sudden they went into a war, didn't they? So what do you think? Maybe this is the idea. They want the Germans to fight the Russians now. They want an escalation of this war between Russia and Ukraine. And What about the Germans? Maybe we can get them into this. It's a thought. <laughs> right. Now, if this is the idea, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> well, you know, these guys, if the order came from above, from people like the Rockefellers. Yeah, I know, there's a lot of people involved in this. But maybe we should look at the Rockefellers. You know, they were involved in the last war. They made a ton of money on that war. And this is my personal idea about these people. These guys, they are drooling over this idea. People suffering. <laughs> Starvation. Soldiers, citizens getting hurt, getting killed. This is just my freak idea about these guys. I think they are perverts, you see. Well, I'm sick having these ideas about them. I, I know. I can't help it. Alright, 
So I have some exciting news about Russell Brand. Now Russell Brand has got a big channel on YouTube, almost 6 million subscribers. And he's been untouched. Now lately, for quite some time now, he's been talking about things that I am talking about. And nobody is touching him. He doesn't get any strikes, he's not banned, you see? And some say that this is proof that Russell Brand is authorized by the establishment. He is controlled opposition. Which never made sense to me. Why would he talk about these things? Why would he make fun of these guys and present this information in a way that people will actually listen? Why would he do this if he was controlled opposition? It didn't make sense to me. I thought he was untouched because he was so popular. Now something happens. He got a strike. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it so much. He got a strike from YouTube. A lifetime strike and he's very very upset about it. And they removed the video. And he's uh, making a big deal out of this. Russell Brand. He's very angry. And this is the most exciting part. He's got a plan. He wants to move his subscribers over to Rumble. And it's a good plan. I listened to him. Good plan. And maybe he will be successful. You know, I'm, I'm very impressed with Russell Brand. I am. Um, mainly because he's, he changed his mind. And he's not, a, he's not afraid to admit it. That's what he says. You know, I have been learning a lot. And he didn't, he wasn't awake and now he's awake. I'm impressed with this. I'm also impressed with the way he presents the, the information. People listen to him. Lots of people. Now there are some things about him that I find annoying. Like, he's uh, so protective of his uh, subscribers. It's, he says he loves them all, no matter what they think, he just loves them. Well, I'm not like this, of course, as you know. And I know a lot of YouTubers, they are not like this. Well, I tell people to sort off if I don't like them. So we are different. But I am overall impressed with the guy. And I'm excited about this idea, moving people away from YouTube. You know, when I got into trouble with YouTube, a lot of people went to Rumble and BitChute to follow me there. A lot of people left YouTube. I think maybe 15,000, maybe more of my subscribers actually started following me on BitChute and Rumble. I think about 15,000. Which is like, uh, what is it, like 30%? Well, so what if 30% of Russell Brand's subscribers started starting to following on Rumble? What's that? Like 2 million. 2 million people. So I'm very happy about this. People need to leave YouTube. We need these channels to remain here. We need people here still to pick up all these people who are not anywhere close to being awake. We need this. We can't just talk to people who are awake. That's what I'm saying. We need to reach them. And the people are here on YouTube and they are on Facebook and you know Instagram and Twitter and so, so on, right? That's where they are. And they, they need to be, they need to have access to this information. But uh, the thing is we should just leave YouTube as many as possible. Because it sucks. It's the worst. It's basically mainstream media today. That's what it is. And they want to turn it into something, I don't know. It's, it's hilarious. They have this idea that they can stop us by censoring us, by removing comments and replies and whatever they are doing, 
they think it's going to work. That's hilarious, isn't it? Maybe people would change their, their minds if we just stop them from talking to each other. Maybe we can stop this. They have this idea, which is total madness. Total madness. They are totally delusional about this. And they think they are fighting the good fight. It's so stupid. So we should just leave. So please consider this. Follow me. If you want to listen to me regularly, please join me on the other platforms. The link will be below. Alright. Be good.